Hey guys, I just want to say thank you all for subscribing. You guys make my day. Um, I'm continuing to put in my research. You guys could put in your research too. This is not financial advice. Sometimes I don't say that in all my videos, but this is not financial advice. I, I don't want to be responsible for anybody like putting their money in somewhere, you know, so that's on you. you put your money in somewhere, that's on you. I'm just trying to help you guys out um, because everywhere I read and even some insiders like Kendra Hill talk about how XRP is going to be the one and you guys are going to regret not having XRP one day. Um, first thing I want to say before I tell you guys what I'm going to do with my money if I become a millionaire from XRP, what I want to say is that these markets are like pretty much on crack right now. You know, it's going up and down and upside down and it's like a roller coaster. Like I told you guys, um, a week and a half when I did a video, it was at 113. Then it went up to 125, down to 106, now at 113. So they're manipulating the markets. Um, I wonder if that could be an indication of the true price of XRP currently going up. But they don't want to show you guys the true price of XRP. Um, you know, more stuff going on behind the scenes because there is some more pattern changes even you know uh, even a pattern change last sunday a pattern change this sunday so just the last three four weeks some crazy stuff was going on like i said i didn't think that anything would happen the rest of the month of um august which i was right nothing really happened it's still at 113. <laughs> um it was, that was just my intuition telling me that that nothing would really happen the rest of the month. Um, some people are thinking starting Monday, which is tomorrow, that the price is going to start going up. But that's other people. I'm not telling you guys that it will go up. That's just and um, the pattern is changing, so who knows? Um, usually I could tell on the Sundays, but the pattern changed again today, so um, it's kind of going sideways. So let's we'll see um but what i want to tell you guys is the price is going to go up the price is going to go down the price could go sideways um no matter what the price is whether it's two cents they crash it if they crash it to like two cents or 20 cents or 50 cents it's because they want to get as many people as possible out of these markets and they want as many people to sell their xrp so that they're not part of the one percent class the one percent elite class in the future um, yeah, so, or if it shoots up to $10 in the stops, they want people to sell at $10. Um, me personally, I will not be selling my XRP. I'll, I could sell other coins, you know, like my XBG, my XDC, my XLM. Uh, I have a little bit of Dogecoin. Um, I have a little bit of Algo. You know, I could sell these other coins one day and make some money. That could be why uh, Psychic said I would be financially independent within six to seven years. So financially independent. Um, I don't know how much money that is, like a minimum of, like, that could be what, meaning that I'm a millionaire. I would think that I'd be a millionaire before then, but maybe that's when I just sell some of my coins, like my XTC and Algo and stuff like that. But I do not want to sell my XRP because uh, that could potentially be worth more and more money every year. And if you wait one year, just hold on for one year to your XRP, the taxes is going to be cut in half or even a tenth the amount of taxes if you just wait a year. Um, yeah, so, yep. Um, there's a major event happening in November 2022, so that could also skyrocket the price. Um, if they introduce universal basic income, that could also skyrocket the price. That could happen in 2024, 2025, maybe. Maybe. Um, so, yeah, but I don't want to sell my XRP ever, ever. Um, until I get my little XRP card and once it hits, you know, once it takes the gold market and the derivatives market and they're like, all right, this is pretty much the top guys. And they give us like an XRP card that we can swipe and just, you know, 
make purchases off an XRP card, then maybe that's what I'll do it. And maybe that's when I'll like be spending the XRP money, my XRP profits, but um, yeah. So, um, it's up to you when you want to sell it. I'm just saying if you sell it, if it gets to $10, it could be worth way more than that, like 10000 per XRP. So, a lot of people will be, could be, and, and this may not be a coin to short either. So, this XRP could hit $7 or $10, and a lot of people could sell it thinking it's going to drop back down. But what if it then gets adopted by, you know, gets backed by gold or it takes the derivatives market and it shoots the price up to like $2,000, $10,000, and then people can't buy it back in. They just sold it for um, $10 thinking that the price is going to drop. And what if the price doesn't drop, you know, then they're screwed out of the markets because they wanted to short XRP. I don't think that XRP, XRP may be the one coin that you don't want to be shorting right now. That's why I'm not shorting it. Um, I'm just accumulating my XRP. And yes, before you guys say, oh, I heard the word accumulation. No, I was the first person to say accumulation in the comment section. Literally the next day, like a day later, two days later, people were doing videos on accumulating XRP. But that came from me. I said it in the comment section. And accumulation really isn't that big of a word. I think I learned it in like my seventh grade vocabulary class. Um, but anyways, once again, people are taking everything I say in my videos and they're using it in their videos, but that's okay. And none of them give me shout outs. I think cause they're all guys and um, guys are sh shouting out other guys, but they're not shouting me out. Um, so it makes me think that like maybe they're afraid of like you know, competition from a girl, like a girl being more smart than them or, you know, a girl outperforming them. Maybe that's what they're afraid of. I don't know. Um, so I'm done, you know, helping them out in their comment section. I told them about HBAR. Next thing you know, they're doing videos on HBAR. Um, you know, I told them all the gems, the XBG, HBAR. You know. Oh yeah, I bought HBAR too. Um, then they're doing videos on that, but then they don't shout me out. But okay, whatever, I'm done helping them. I'll just go solo. Um, I have no other support in this crypto market besides my subscribers. Thank you guys very much. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do with the money? All right, um, I'll get right into it. What I'm gonna do with um, my money from XRPs, I really want to change the world. I really want to make a difference. That's how we're going to evolve as a, as a human race and as a species <laughs> is, you know, just by um, living a purpose for the life, living a meaningful life. So I'm not going to buy a mansion. I'm going to buy like a mobile home or a boxy bowl or, um, you know, if I have a spouse that has a house, Maybe just, you know, pay off their house and live in the house with them. Um, but I, you know, I'd rather just live in like a boxable or a mobile home or buy some land for $25,000, get a $50,000 small home, uh, and then like a $25,000 Tesla or some $25,000 electric vehicle, because I also believe that the future is going into electric vehicles. Um, maybe by 2023 get an electric vehicle. So, praying to God that my vehicle lasts another two years. Um, yeah, so I just want to change the world. So, you know, $25,000 for land, $50,000 house, $25,000 car, that's $100,000. Then with the rest of my money, I want to, you know, make some charities, um, and sometimes it could be detrimental to people to just give out money. So it, I have to be giving out the right money. And I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't want to tell you guys because I really don't want people stealing my ideas. But it's going to be how to help people, but to also teach people how to be more self-sufficient. So, you know, I just don't want to give them a fish. And then they ask for more fish. You know, I don't want to give them food. They ask for more food. I want to give them food, but then teach them how to get more food for themselves. You know, or teach them how to plant 
crops so that they could have more food for themselves. And there's gonna be a lot of other things that I wanna do, but um, once I give to people, I also wanna be teaching them how to be more self-sufficient. Um, there's a lot of other things that I wanna do. Do you guys have any ideas of how to make the world a better place? Um, then let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe, I will be having more videos coming out. I will never go longer than two weeks without a, uh, without a video. So um, thank you guys and stay tuned.